lighten up Take me on Pussy the high. magic river <laughs> Tell me all your dreams align Hello! There's nothing like a Saturday, a cozy Saturday, that makes me want to vlog more. I don't know what it is. Actually, I do know. It's just like, I'm sitting in my apartment. <laughs> like, what else am I gonna do? Oh my gosh. We have lots of random things to catch up on. First off, I think I did a room tour um, right before I uploaded my last vlog. And there's some things that have changed, like my sheets. I got new sheets the other day. They're striped. Here's a little close-up of the sheets. It's hard to tell that they're striped, but they are. Oh, you're getting so cozy. Now you can see more. I also got new silk pillowcases. These are from Amazon. A few things. One, kind of random, but I've been in eyelash extension fake lash phase recently, and I've been wearing Pro Lash. Today I'm wearing the Kiss Impress Falsies, and I love them. Pro Lash ones in the cocoa, absolutely insane. Like, so, so, so good, especially on the blonde eyelashed girls and the redheads. So I'm waiting for those in the mail, but for now I just have these little black ones on. Anyway, going through a phase, but today I was like, you know what? Maybe I need to just do a lash serum. Here's the thing. I was never a lash serum girl. I've never used one before because I'm scared. Orbital loss and as well as the dark eyes. But Ivy, what are you doing? Got the babe lash one in the mail. So I'm going to start doing that this week. And also, I still am on my Divi journey, but I also got extensions. If you can see, they're sew-ins. And I would just like to say the difference in my confidence with having just a little bit of thicker hair astronomical i get it now i didn't want the extensions to look unnatural i really really wanted them to look supernatural so we just did one row and i feel like the average person wouldn't be able to tell but i'm really happy with them she's gonna get comfy she like has to sleep inside my pillow she is literally the most diva dog i've ever seen in my life if she's not cozy or comfy she's not having a good time literally luke went to go grab his uber eats down the hall and the second he left his spot she ran and jumped in his spot because he's sitting on like the corner of the couch where it's the coziest and just curled into a ball. She's a little cozy princess. But I want to do a PR segment of things that I've gotten in PR recently that I'm loving. Starting with this little hourglass palette. I just love it because it was a collab with Barney's. And look how cute this is. Oh, it actually makes me sick because I want to be in New York so bad. Speaking of, <laughs> I am going in November again with Ulta. But I'm also going a few days early with Sahar. Like, who else am I going to New York with? It's always Ulta or Soar, <laughs> as it should be. I'm excited for that, but this is the palette. So gorgeous. This was an old thing I received in PR, but this is Replica from the Garden Perfume. I didn't know how I really felt about it. And then Macy came over a couple weekends ago, and she smelt it, and she's like, this is insane. Like, so good. And I smelt it with her opinion, and I was like, you're right. It smells better. <laughs> Crazy how that happens. It has earth and tomato leaves. It smells really, really fresh. I would agree that the tomato leaves are very strong. I think I'm gonna make some tea. I kinda wanna play a room cube. So I'm gonna ask Luke if he can play with me. He's in my living room watching football right now. So I think there's high chances of it happening. I also kinda wanna get Dairy Queen. I've been obsessed with ice cream and blizzards recently. It's all I want. Cookie dough blizzard and then the Butterfingers. So good. I posted a short and somebody commented. They're like, this is an Oregon City thing for sure. And if you grew up in Oregon City, you, I would agree. Like, Dairy Queen was the place to go. Like, my friend Delaney would pick me up and we'd go to Dairy Queen at 10 p.m. Or after high school football games, because it was literally down the road. That was the place to be. So I think it's just like deeply rooted in me. I went to Pilates this morning. I went on a little walk already. Did some chores already. Technically, I could fold my laundry that's <laughs> in the dryer, but like that is not a Sunday afternoon problem. Actually, it is. It really is. But 
That can be like a later tonight problem when it's still not light outside. Like there's still daylight. I, like I don't want to sit down and read. I don't really want to watch anything else. I do kind of want to shop. <laughs> I did have some things in my Zara cart that I kind of wanted to purchase. Also, I'm wearing this red jacket and once again, paving the way for redheads. That red looks good on us. Ivy, what should we do? What are you gonna do, hun? What do we do? Wanna go for a walk? <laughs> that was me. I'm so weak. That was so mean to me. You know what I really wanna do? I really wanna get into scrapbooking. But the thing that stresses me out the most with scrapbooking is the fact that I have to go through my photos. And I have 136,000 photos. I can't do that. My mom was a big scrapbooker though. And the few that I have, I love. And I'm like, that sounds just so fun and relaxing. And I'm also the most nostalgic person on the planet. Sounds like the most perfect activity for me. But I'm also not very good at like being creative on paper. And I think it would stress me out that I couldn't make it look cute. And <laughs> it would just make me in a bad mood. It's not like a competitive. It's just I can't really put on paper what I want it to look like. And so I have a feeling it would make me feel worse. Okay, well, we're just going for a walk. I don't know what else to do, so at least we're getting some fresh air. <laughs> Ivy got a toy and I refused to take her dog hood away from her. Good morning for me. My Pilates fit. It's 8.30 on Monday. I'm going to Pilates. Energy, nowhere to be found. Out of office. I'm so tired. Are you laughing at my joke, Luke? Yeah. Was it funny? Goodbye. Um, let's try this. I don't know. I'm being a brave, brave girl today and I'm going jean shopping. I made sure I ate an entire meal before this so I wouldn't get grouchy and hate myself in the midst of this. Just trying on jeans, it's not even that I feel like bad about, I mean, maybe a little bit. I do feel a little bit bad about myself having to, you know, just like stare at yourself, but it's honestly just not very fun. <laughs> like you're just, it's not fun trying things on. This is so stupid. Um, I just got some fills. There's also a Verizon power outage right now. My phone has been on SOS all day. So I have absolutely zero service zilch in this entire trip. I don't know if there's Wi-Fi at South Coast Plaza. I doubt it. Um, so that's really interesting. I didn't even know I could download maps because I didn't even know how to get here because I'm just dumb and directionally challenged. So I had to download my maps, download my maps to map it here. So hopefully I get service soon. It like nobody else in my family has SOS. Like I'm the only one. It's so bizarre, but it's it is a power outage. So let me show you a little fit check if you mind. In this little suede jacket I got from Princess Polly. I got it. Wait, not Princess Polly. I got it from Cotton On. Um, I'm sounding really stuffy. I feel like I just got some allergies. I got this in Cotton On in New York when I went with Ulta. Then I'm wearing these um, like silky white pants from Kukai. Then my Dolce Vita boots. Sorry the AC is loud, but I would say that was semi-successful. I got two pairs of jeans and I got a few things from Zara. I'll show you guys when I get home. Um, I am still processing the fact that I accidentally bought a pair of jeans that were $238. I had so many jeans in there. I genuinely think I had like 12 pairs of jeans and I was looking at the tags and I got them mixed up. I thought they were going to be $110. 238 like that was my entire budget for jeans like I was like that's it so I just didn't realize I thought I was buying two jeans that were both $110 <laughs> so I spent almost $400 on two pairs of jeans I'm already planning my my trip to return them oh I don't want to do laundry 
but I need to. Ivy's little toy looks so suspicious. Ivy! I don't think you guys would know this, but I love EDM music. <laughs> Way to our first wedding venue. Is that dog by itself? No, a person. Where? Behind the pool. They're literally flush behind it. It's a small person. That was crazy. <laughs> I thought that dog was missing. Okay, right, we're gonna go look at our first wedding venue. This is not one of my favorites, but <laughs> we're gonna see it anyway. Luke, how it's do you it feel was, about it? It was fourth on our, we had a top four list. Yeah, it was, fourth it was like the last one out of but the four. I think it's the most practical. I'm not sure about the location of it, but we'll see. The location is South OC, and so we're driving down PCH right now, and we're gonna get some coffee beforehand and enjoy the scenic route. So, and I'm gonna enjoy not being at my computer. Yeah, because it's a what Tuesday? Tuesday. Tuesday afternoon. Luke's playing rookie. It's rookie. What did I say? Rookie. <laughs> I don't feel well. Luke is playing rookie. You said it again. <laughs> Luke is playing a hooky. Oh my gosh, I really don't feel too well. I woke up feeling like I had strep throat this morning. Jake's Hi, I'm doing well, how are you? Good, thanks. What are you guys doing for your day? <laughs> We're uh, touring some wedding venues, actually. What's that? We're touring some wedding venues, actually. No way, yeah. congratulations. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Yeah, because everyone gets married on my family's birthday. I forgot to stir it. It was warm still. You know, when you get a sip of just the shot, it's so warm. It's the worst. Okay, we just threw that menu. Not our favorite. <laughs> it was, once again, like our fourth option, but it definitely reassured me that the things that I don't really like. So, there's a few things I liked about it, but most things I didn't. We're touring one this Sunday, and I think I'm gonna like that one a lot, and then a few other ones in the next few weeks. So I'm excited for those, but I don't know. I mean, like, it was fun to like go out and like see something and start to plan, but yeah, it wasn't our favorite. Apologies for this lighting, but it's for a reason, okay? It's what, Wednesday? Yeah, Wednesday night. I just went and got an airbrush tan. This is my first time ever. The last time I've ever gotten a tan professionally done was for prom in high school. And it was one of those where you stand in a machine. You're like undressed doing it. This time it was an airbrush. And so I had looked on the website, just like meant to prepare like what they're gonna do. And I saw people on the website were wearing these, they're just like slightly covered. And I was like, oh, okay, I think they like provide it. I got there and she goes, okay, undress to your comfort. And I was like, uh-uh, don't give me free will. Tell me what to do. Like I was so stressed, I was like, okay. <laughs> And she left and I put like the little pasties over this, which I was like totally fine, comfortable with. No, I wasn't comfortable, so I wanted those. I don't know, I just am like, ooh. Anyway, but I kept my underwear on because I didn't know what to do. I was like, is that normal? Like, I don't know, like that felt like a lot. Like honestly, I could have been fine just being topless, but like bottomless, I was like, mm -mm. I didn't, I am not letting that happen. So I leave my underwear on. But I didn't plan my underwear accordingly because I thought they were going to give us something. And so the underwear I wore, let me just show you guys. Like, I hope this doesn't get censored, but they were just so high rise that I have like almost like a high rise tan line, which I'm just so dumb. Like I would have worn like a more of a G string or something if I would have just thought about it. So that's just kind of silly. Is it normal to be completely naked? I need to know because I can do it. I just didn't know. What does that mean? Three? What? Oh wait, you already got this. <laughs> I was like, oh. let's show them, it's so cute. It's a little tart. Wait, open it up though. Give them the Gosh, full experience. My nails like anyway, uh, mini brands launched Ulta Beauty. Look at this. They accidentally sent me three. Oh wait, that's that's cute. Was that the same one as this one? Yeah. It was the same palette? Oh, it's okay now. Yeah. Oh. The yeah. naked one is honestly my favorite. The naked one is so detailed. The fact that it has like suede on it and everything. Yeah. <laughs> Opens Look how cute that is. Um, anyway, like I was trying to say, they sent me three boxes. I don't know if they did that to everybody. Like, I actually Maybe have no idea. You should ask. Also, oh, this is Christina. An another okay. tart. Hey guys, got a little tart shape tape. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> we feel they like they open and they actually like look real and legit. We were laughing because we we're like, these are so annoying to open, and then we started opening, and we're like, this is so fun. <laughs> it does feel a little bit like wasteful though. I'm like, this is a lot of packaging. I wanna hear about everything you're ever thinking. Yeah, we're off to wedding dress shopping. Lauren, say hi. Hi. This is Luke's mom. <laughs> so excited! Call me out if you think I'm never sleeping. Maybe I can turn it around. Oh, yeah. I showed Luke all the dresses. No, I shouldn't. <laughs> I'm exhausted though, it was fun. I tried on like six, seven. Guys, I'm sorry, I have to update my vlog for the week. <laughs> this will be really exciting for them. Okay, any sound requests? Uh, I actually will get copyrighted, so we might have to pause it. Okay, oh, this is one. Okay. I, I know well, this no, Laura, did you have fun dress shopping? Yes, I did, it was very fun. All the dresses looked great. Oh, I couldn't be there, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Rebecca could have come, but that's money. okay. We'll forgive her. Christina, did you have fun? I had so much fun. Everything looked beautiful. You're going to have a hard time choosing. Anyway, we're going to a football game. And then what's the rest of the night? E-chase. <laughs> e-chase. Wait. Oh, yeah. Fun. Sign me up and tell me about the people that you know who are trying to feel alive. Life can get hard, so honey, if you need to cry, just come share my. Okay guys, I'm in San Jose still, it's Monday. About to go to a solid core class, I've never been. I feel like I might die. I hope they have socks in the studio. I'm at Santana Row in San Jose, it's so nice here. Like, should I go shopping after? Luke and I are actually gonna drive back home today um, at like three, have to do some working. Wanted to get a workout in. So, wish me luck. I am personally offended by that class. I'm actually about to go off once I walk away. <laughs> Lighting's weird, but I just need to rant about this class. Does that make it worse? Whatever. Because I was just so frustrated with this instructor, and I took a solid core class, and I know that they're obviously more intense than just a regular Pilates class. I also paid 40 bucks for it, which I was like, it's kind of crazy. I don't know, maybe it's not. Anyway. There was a lot of beginners in the class. She knew that. She literally said at the beginning of the class, she's like, oh wow, lots of first timers. And so I was like, okay, cool. What was frustrating though is that there was like a row of us who were obviously struggling with instructions and we are all looking at each other to understand what's going on and none of us are doing the right thing and she wasn't correcting us. Like in my past Pilates classes, the instructors are coming and kind of helping our form. So I feel like I didn't even get a good workout because half the time I was looking around trying to figure out what to do and by the time I figured out what to do we were on to the next exercise and I was like 
can you just explain? So I was just frustrated. And then there was like clearly the front row or the back row who were people coming back and they were like doing well. And so I kept having to look back and just, oh, there's Ivy. <sighs> I don't know. I was just like a little frustrated with it, but I got some blue bottles. So that makes things better. I'm going to go say hi to Ivy. Go away. We made it back home safely and it's Monday night. Tomorrow we're going on one more wedding venue tour. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching and if you watched this all the way through, just know I appreciate you and I love you guys. I love you too. Um, I feel like this is just my favorite thing to do is make long form vlogs. So thanks for being here. Love you guys and I hope you have a great week. <laughs> Great month, let's be for real. So the next time I'll post. <laughs> um, that's what happens when I take the time to edit my own videos. <laughs> I'm such a type B person, it's embarrassing. Okay, love you all. Bye! I say bye! Say bye!